WWOZ is proud to celebrate 300 years of New Orleans history with this tricentennial music moment. In 1957, New Orleans clarinetist Pete Fountain got a phone call for a gig. He had been playing clarinet since he was a boy when he had taken it up on doctor's orders due to a lung condition. He had been a successful gigging musician since high school, but this gig was much bigger. It was the Lawrence Welk Show. Pete said yes, and it changed his life. Pete moved to Los Angeles and appeared on the Lawrence Welk television show from 57 to 59. And because 25% of the country watched Lawrence Welk every Saturday night, Pete was suddenly a star. Fountain's humility and charisma won over the viewers, and his technique and tone on the clarinet set a new standard. His playing bridged traditional New Orleans-style jazz with the swinging big band sounds on songs like Tiger Rag, My Blue Heaven, Ain't Misbehavin', and Basin Street Blues. Week after week, he brought the sound of New Orleans jazz in the homes across America. After Pete left the Lawrence Welk Show in 59, he put out the album Pete Fountain's New Orleans. The record went gold, making him a bona fide star on his own and bringing even more popularity to New Orleans jazz. Pete came back from California as a well-established band leader and businessman. He settled back into New Orleans life and became a mainstay in the music scene, owning two different clubs on Bourbon Street in the 1960s and then another one at the Hilton. He recorded over 100 more albums, and his half-assed walking club is still an annual highlight of Mardi Gras. Fountain became the face of New Orleans jazz, appearing on national TV shows for decades, including Ed Sullivan, Mike Douglas, and 59 appearances on The Tonight Show, more than any other jazz musician. And underneath it all, it was his unmistakable phrasing and sound. But it was saying yes to Lawrence Welk that was his big leap, putting him on the road from being a great musician to becoming a true New Orleans legend and ambassador. For WWOZ, I'm jazz clarinetist Tim Laughlin. This tricentennial music moment was made possible by the New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation, the Ruth U. Fertel Foundation, People's Health, the Hellis Foundation, and Hilton. Special thanks to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. To learn more, go to www.org. And keep listening to WWOZ for more tricentennial music moments. For WWOZ, I'm just. <laughs> for WWOZ, I'm jazz clarinetist Tim Lachlan.